We're going to turn to a new clue in a months long quest for closure. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Police are searching for the remains of missing teenager Zion Foster. They say Zion's cousin admitted to dumping her body in a dumpster back in January. Now police are on day four of the search at this Lenox Township landfill. And as 7 investigator Ross Jones explains tonight, detectives have found new indications they are in the right place. Certainly, uh, when you're talking about a young woman who was murdered, likely murdered in our city uh, or, or somewhere, um, we know that you know our evidence supports the fact uh, that she is likely dumped in this site. 39 miles from Detroit today in Lenox Township, Detroit police continued the search for the body of 17-year-old Zion Foster. She went missing after leaving her East Point home on January 4th. Police believe she was murdered and her body put in a dumpster that ended up here. To bring closure to that family uh, and, and to be in law enforcement and to be a dad, um, you, you do this because it's the right thing to do. But Chief James White freely admits DPD has never undertaken a challenge quite like this one. They've isolated a 100 by 100 foot area of the landfill where they believe Foster's body is most likely to be recovered, but have to first dig through 20 feet of material just to get there. This requires some heavy equipment, which was provided by Michigan Cat, uh, and a road is being installed now that leads to the search area, and a search deck will be built. It's early, but already there are signs that police are looking in the right place. Recently discovering a piece of mail with a Detroit postal code sent around the same time Foster went missing. The search is being conducted by officers who are volunteering, working on hot days in horrible conditions. Landfills pose serious health risks for anyone working inside, like exposure to carcinogens. And to help remind officers just what's at stake, Sergeant Shannon Jones says Foster's family provided photos of the 17-year-old, which can be found around the search site. Everybody's already here knowing what they're going to do, um, but sometimes when you see a picture or you see a face, it helps when you're feeling tired to give you that little extra burst of energy. Digging out the first 20 feet is expected to last two weeks alone and cost a fortune. The Detroit Public Safety Foundation has already spent $250,000 paying for things like hazmat suits, hand sanitizer, coolers, and meals for volunteers. And they know much more money will be needed. We're going to do everything we can. Uh, I, don't know the, I don't know the outcome, but I know the effort. And the effort will be there, uh, and we, we hope for the best. From Detroit, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. If you're interested in making a donation to the Search for Zion, the Detroit Public Safety Foundation would love to hear from you. You'll find contact information at WXYZ.com.